The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. Space, the final frontier. The last place you can take your franchise. When you've made so many games, you don't even know what it is anymore. So you just give up and make it Star Wars. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Experience the latest in gaming's most ubiquitous yearly franchise that you've either already purchased or decided to hate long before you even knew what it was, as Infinity War combines the classic military fetishism of the Call of Duty franchise with the most futury of their settings to date to create a tale of a grim future where war is fought by robots and a deeply expendable space navy in a world that feels a lot like an off-brand Halo sequel, except it's depressing as f and everybody's saying Oscar Mike all the time. Strap in to the constantly shattering spacesuit of Nick Reyes, a generic military badass and unlikely captain whose fatal flaw is human empathy. Then join up with an entire ship's worth of other generic military badasses with nearly identical character traits and a robot buddy who's somehow more likable than most of the humans. How's that? Then watch them all get brutally murdered immediately after you have an emotional moment with them in a twist that kind of loses its impact when you do it 14 times in a five-hour campaign, as you take the fight to a bunch of war-criming space Russian Mars colonists led by Jon Snow, who gets a fourth of Kevin Spacey's screen time and then gets snuffed in an anticlimactic cutscene. Because it turns out that shit's expensive. Step on board the Retribution, a massive Star Destroyer that consists of four rooms, a hallway, and a TV that's always playing Fox News and suit up for Infinite's campaign mode, where you'll alternate between bombastic space combat and future fighter jets that feel so much like Star Fox it even has the launch sequence, but is somehow even more simplistic as it does 90% of the flying for you, and COD standard linear on-foot murder party, where you'll choose from a bevy of uncreative two-in-one future weapons and jump in to either zero-g combat, which seems awesome initially, until you realize you're getting shot from everywhere and cover doesn't work, or the corridor shooting gameplay that you know and tolerate, spiced up with jetpacks, slides, wall runs, a powerful AI buddy, and robots that you must climb to destroy, which all would probably have felt a lot more innovative and awesome if Titanfall 2 hadn't just come out last week, but is still a pretty solid experience anyway. Hey, fun fact, did you know you can actually enjoy two FPS games at the same time? Crazy, I know. Once you've blasted through the campaign, Get ready to get lost in the multiplayer as it hits you with more modes and customization and you carefully select your rig and faction and meticulously tinker with your loadout. Then realize the gameplay is the same run around corners and get shot in the back style that it has been forever. Except for the parkour from Advanced Warfare and MOBA style classes from Black Ops 3, you'll sometimes get shot from above too and 90% of your options are still locked until you play for hours and hours because someone decided that was fun a decade ago. And we've never looked back since. Hey, at least this one doesn't have dogs. After you've had all the futuristic combat you can handle, stagger into Infinite Warfare's zombie mode, the perpetually popular Call of Duty side story that feels more tacked on than ever before, as you dive into an 80s theme park setting that has practically nothing to do with the rest of the game, where the grim seriousness of the main story is replaced by a wacky Zombies Ate My Neighbors take on zombie horror where you'll step into the shoes of the jock, the nerd, the mall brat, or a fake-ass LL Cool J, and blast your way through shambling hordes as you unlock more and more sections of the park. Then uncover the many secrets that Zombies Mode has lying just beneath the surface that you'll never uncover because your garbage teammates die every time on Wave 10. But at least you'll be able to complete the real objective, finding David Hasselhoff. Thank you, the Hoff, for your many contributions. So jump in to your space stealth fighter with the metal album cover art on the side and jet into a surprisingly solid entry for a storied franchise going in a new direction. Or don't and go down about the trailer some more or something. Because nothing puts a multi-million dollar franchise in its place like a bunch of dislikes on a YouTube video. Starring Starship Trooper, Lieutenant Salty, Romar, Biggs and Wedge, He Snow Spacey, Chekhov. Oh wait, I was supposed to care about you? and BT, Star Tours, Infinite Sadness. Wait, there's an achievement for listening to all these sad-ass killed in action letters? Come on, Activision. Why do you gotta make me weep for my hot chivos? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice.
Wow. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Wall Chicken is best chicken. The Indians blew a 3-1 lead in the World Series. There is always money in the banana stand. 